What's going on guys, it's Chris and today I'm coming out with a new video. One of my videos that's really been blowing up has been my how to kickflip video. So I decided to make a new tutorial on a trick that I feel like a lot of people are trying to learn right now. The trick that I'm going to be trying to teach you guys today is an ollie and this trick really did not take me a long time so I feel like I could teach you guys this trick really easily. This trick took me like two weeks to learn how to do really well and to do it while rolling. So I'm going to give you guys some tips and everything I used to do to learn how to do this trick. So when doing ollies, the part of your foot that you want to use is the side. This is the area you want to use when doing ollies. When doing ollies, if you get holes in your shoe in this area, you know you are doing them right. All of this right here is what you're going to use to slide up with your foot on learning how to do an ollie. So before I even teach you guys how to slide your foot, this is the area you mainly want to focus on. So essentially when you're doing an ollie, all you want to do is just pop down. And as you pop down, your board's going to go flying up. With your front foot, you are going to slide it up and level it out so all the wheels come up off of the ground. So there are three main points with an ollie. There is the pop, slide on your foot, and the commitment part with the ollie. These are the three most important things you want to focus on when learning how to do this trick. First part that I really want you guys to focus on is the pop. This is the beginning of the ollie. You really want to get a good pop down. And with the pop, this is the foot position you want to have. Your back foot right in the middle of the board. So you just snap down and the board comes up in the air like this. So before you even start putting the ollie all together, I want you to really focus on the pop. Go around, just swing your board around, popping it so it comes up off of the ground. So once you really have the pop down, all you really have left to do is just slide your foot. A lot of people, when they're learning how to skateboard, they really do not understand what it means to slide your foot. You want to get into the good habit of sliding your foot, leveling out that board. So by sliding your foot, this is what I mean. Say when I'm going to pop in the air right now, all you really want to do is bend your ankle like this and slide that foot up. So this part of your shoe is rubbing against the grip tape. You really want to make this part slide on your shoe. You don't want to get in the bad habit of sliding with your toes or your heel. You want to slide with this part right here to level out the skateboard. So essentially, if you put the two steps that I've mentioned so far, this is what the trick will look like. So what you just saw right there is what a lot of people get into a bad habit of doing. Pop and they barely slide their foot up so it looks like this. This is where you're going to start getting into the bad habit of doing rocket ollies. Rocket ollies are ollies that come up straight with no leveling so your foot does not slide and it does not level out in the air. It's this mistake, all you really want to do is just pop and slide that foot up higher to bring the back end of the board up. And essentially you're going to go from ollieing like this into ollieing like this. Now the last part is just the commitment. Once you have the pop, the slide, all you're missing now is just committing to the ollie. This is probably the scariest part of the trick because you are not familiar with the feeling of landing back onto a board after going up in the air. And with this trick, it has a lot to do with mind games. This is probably the first trick you are going to learn. So it's all in your head. You just have to really keep going at it and just tell yourself that you can land the trick. Once you have it all together, the final step is just staying on top of it and getting over the fear of falling. This is a thing that a lot of people struggle with. Even I, to this day, struggle with commitment on my tricks. You just really have to do it and put your 100% into it and you will land the trick. Once you get this trick down, you can start doing it while rolling, but I really recommend learning this trick while getting a little bit of speed because it helps you commit and get it faster at the end of the day. If you learn how to do this staying still, it's gonna be a little harder to do it while rolling. So just to get familiar with your skateboard, which you already should be familiar with how to ride, just ride a little bit. You don't even have to go super fast. Just ride a little bit and do ollies while rolling because this will really help you get comfortable with your board. So to recap, mistakes that you don't want to get into the habit of doing are rocket ollies. You want to really focus on leveling out the skateboard. And the second biggest mistake is getting into a bad habit of not committing to the trick. So when you're trying this trick, if you want to ollie over higher things, all you really have to do is just level it out. And this is a big tip that I really didn't hear from a lot of people. If you're ollieing over bigger things, just slide your foot up a little higher to even it out and you will be able to ollie over bigger things. But just keep trying this trick and the more you practice it, the easier it'll come. 
If you guys need any help with anything in this video, make sure to leave a comment and I'll reply to you. But practice makes better, so keep at it and you guys will get this trick. But as always, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see any other tutorials for any other trick, just make sure to leave it in the comments below. I really appreciate all of you. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.